So welcome to C-square. In this video clip uh, we're going to talk about writing equation of perpendicular lines. So let's see. Okay. The first thing uh, I would like to show you is this uh, short discovery which you can find it on uh, geogebra.com. Uh, and on this discovery um, students can learn and you students can see that uh, the property of the slopes for perpendicular lines. Okay, if you take on this, uh, uh, take a look on this uh, slide and this picture, uh, you can see what the property uh, of the slope for perpendicular lines. So you see the blue line and the red line; uh, they are perpendicular. We can see that in the picture, uh, one positive slope, one negative slope. In fact, the slope are negative reciprocal. Let me point that on for you. You can go on uh, GeoGebra and see more graphs like this by just clicking new graphs uh, and you're going to see the same property. Uh, for example, uh, in this problem we have the slope uh, for the first line is negative 3, which is the slope of the red line. If you take a look on the picture, the slope of the other line uh, is one third the uh, blue line. So basically that's the thing I want you to remember on this uh, slide that the slopes of perpendicular line are negative reciprocal. So let's see how we use that in a problem. Okay, so we have this problem here where we have to write the equation of a perpendicular line uh, on a given line negative x plus 2y equals negative 5. Uh, and it goes through the point negative 3 and negative 6. So the first thing we're going to do is to find the slope of the first line, the one that we have the equation negative x plus the y equals negative 5. Obviously we're going to add x here. And we have 2y equals x minus 5. I will suggest you to do a start of the x term, in this case plus x or just x, x minus 5 divide by 2 because we want to solve for y and then we're going to have 1 over 2x minus 5 halves. Okay. The piece we need here is this slope. This is the slope of the first line, right? Slope of the first line, 1 half. So the slope of the second line, the one I'm looking for, we're looking for is the negative reciprocal, which means flip and change the sign. So the slope of the second line is negative 2. Simplify if it's possible, it's, it's much easier. Now we go to the last step, which basically is uh, finding the equation write the equation of the of the line and for that we're going to use we're going to use this point slope form and we're going to just plug the information in don't forget x1 and y1 are the coordinates of the given point and the slope is in fact the slope we found negative 2 Okay, so in this step we just plug it in, we're going to simplify. Use the distributive property. And the last step subtract 6. And this is the equation of the line we're looking for. It is perpendicular on the negative x plus 2y equals negative 5 and goes through negative 3 and negative 6. 
uh, you can see the uh, answer also here on this slide and uh, you can go on GeoGebra and practice more by just clicking new problem and also you can uncheck the steps and show steps and uh, try it and then click show steps in case you need more help uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, short video clip and you will be back on, on uh, C-square whenever you need. Thank you and have a great day.